Hey guys, Wee Man here. In this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to get a Mac looking dock for Windows. It looks just like the Leopard dock, and it makes your desktop look less cluttered because um, you don't have icons on there, and it gives it a nice effect, I think. And I'd also just like to say, if you can see on my window, it looks white, and that's because it's snowing. It's March 31st, basically April, and it's we're having a winter storm watch right now, so it's kind of weird, I think, and I'm just ready for winter to be over. But anyways, stay tuned for the video. Okay, so here you can see my desktop here, and at the bottom you can see the dock which magnifies when I put my mouse over it just like Mac does and you can see my desktop is not cluttered at all you can change settings of the dock if you right click on the dock and click dock settings it brings up this little window here and here you can change the general settings um, themes you can get more themes um, you can download them from a website which I will show you Then you have docklets these are what's actually in your dock um, and then it's got these separators here. You can switch where they are um, if you wanted to. And then you got appearance. You can have the icons look large and then you can make the magnified sizes when you hold your mouse over them. Then you've got positioning, effects, and dot contents. So some of the things that you can change in appearance here are how the icons look when they're not being touched or anything so if you want them larger or if you want a small dock so you can fit more icons and stuff in there I just like to keep it about the length of my screen a little bit less um, and then you've got your magnified size so how big it will be when you hold your mouse over it if you don't want it magnifies just uncheck that and it won't magnifies at all as you can see um, if you want it to magnify more move it more to the max end and then it'll be bigger or if you just want really small, move it down here. And then they'll just magnify a little bit. I like a little bit more, so about that. Um, and then you can change your background, which is like the dock in the background behind the icons here. I have it to OS 10, looks like Mac. Um, you can change it to Glass Vista, uh, Glass Bent, and you can just see it changes behind the images there. Um, there's many docks. Um, but I like the OS 10 Leopard one, so I just keep it there. Now the website where you get this is Stardock. You have to actually download the object dock here um, from this website. I'll put a link in the description here. Um, it is a free download, and it's they do have a plus version available for $19.95. Uh, I have the free version, and it works fine. It does everything I need it to do, so I'm just fine with that. Um, and it does come with a weather app. As you can see, it advertises right here. Uh, I do not use that. I don't have it on the dock uh, because I didn't think it was very accurate. But you hold your mouse over it, and then it, see, you can see how it just went away. But you hold your mouse over it, and then like a five day forecast will come over, so it's pretty nice. But I didn't think the temperatures were accurate again, so I got rid of it. And then you can go to this other website called windcustomize.com and you can download more images for your icons. You can search for basically any program and they should have it on here. Now it wasn't working for me before but you just scroll down and then on the sidebar here you want to click um, object dock. So you click that and then, oh it's working now. So then you, it brings you here and you can search for any image you want basically. So I had to find one for Steam, so I just brought, came on here and searched for Steam and it had an icon. Um, so let's say I wanted to download this one for Nero. Click on it and then click download. And I'll open it with WinRAR. So then this will come up and you're going to want to extract it to C, Program Files, Stardock, which is right here, Object Dock and then bundled images so I'll extract it there oh it's not gonna work so I'll have to do it manually so I'll put it on my desktop here go to my computer uh, see program files stardock 
object doc, bundled images, applications, and I'll just drag it over to here and it puts the image in there. So then if I wanted to, let's say I wanted to change the steam icon, I would go to right click on it and click doc entry properties and then it will bring up this and we'll go to change image and it'll bring up the folder where you just put it in um, here's the Nero zap that I just put in there so I'll click OK and then it sh you can see it changed it to that so we'll click OK on that and then you can see here at the bottom steam is with that Nero icon that I just downloaded so you can switch them to anything you want them to look like um, I'm going to change it back here quick to the steam one see it's that easy and it switched back there um, so yeah and if you wanted to say you wanted to delete an image here you just take the image of the icon drag it and then it's gone and if you want to get them back um, let's see where I put that here well, I don't know where it is but say I wanted to put um, this Half-Life 2 deathmatch I would just drag the image and put it over here and then it brings it up and then Half-Life 2 deathmatch and you can see it's just a generic steam one so I would have to change that if I wanted to um, but I don't want to do that right now um, so yeah it's a great thing if you wanted to have a dock um, I find it's a lot easier to just use this rather than having images all over my desktop I like to see a clean desktop so this is great if you want that so anyways guys this was just a quick little just trying to inform you guys of that this is out there um, if you have any questions leave a comment and I'll get back to you or you can message me on YouTube either way I'll get back to you uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one